Okay, we are back playing some Magic 2013, Collective Might, uh, doing some deck testing, trying to see how this works. So far, so good. Um, just been playing uh, a little bit just to get into the groove of it, uh, but now I want to start recording and getting serious. Or as serious as I can be. This guy is really taking his time. Let me cut on to cut to Let me cut to the match. Fuck this guy. Welcome back. We are playing some more Magic 2013. I am deck testing the Collective Might deck from the new DLC, and uh, let's see how that. Oh man, that is not that good. I wonder if I should keep it though. No, draw a new hand. Better, much better. Depends, of course, on what he's playing. He's playing uh, one of the new decks, I'm guessing, or. Okay, he's playing one of the new decks. It could be the mirror match, or he's playing um, Sepulchral Strength. This is good enough for me. Um, wonder if I should drop the Pride Mage or the Evangel first. Uh, it's a mirror! Mirror match! Okay, that sucks. So he's getting off to a flying start. Okay. That's gonna. S okay, I like I like the fact that I drew parallel lives, but aside from that, um, I'm not that happy. I should start making tokens soon, though. Mm, I should also start smashing in very soon, very very soon. I might even take away his uh, enchantment when I get the chance. Fist of Ironwood, yeah. That's not too bad for me. Um. 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 Let's see. What do I want to do? I think I want to smash in, and then uh, when he blocks it, if he does block it. Okay. Basically, I just want to sacrifice this bad boy. Activate ability. Yes, please. And take away this guy. So his creatures doesn't die, but uh, I think it was worth a try. Didn't matter either way, basically. Um... So yeah, the Kasali Pride Mage is pretty awesome in that way because you don't have a lot of removal in this deck. What could you possibly have? What could you possibly have? You, I know what you have, so no. I'm not down with losing my Evangel because I'm down for making a lot of creatures. I know you might have Sigil's Blessing. That's, uh, that's the whole thing about this deck. Um, do I want to shut him up now, or do I want to shut him up later? No, I, I want the parallel lives down. Uh, I know that I'm still, like, next turn he's going to come in for four, and if, if he does use the Sigil's Blessing, then he'll be coming in for, I think, eight. I know, I know, but you have Sigil Blessing, uh, a Sigil Blessing, and I'm not going to block. So uh, come on in. I do have my Elephant, and uh, that is all I need. Oh, that's awesome. That is great for me. I um, think perhaps Trophy Hunter? 
Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I have some options now. Nope, 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 nope. That's pretty good. That is pretty, pretty, pretty damn good for me. Or it can be. It all depends. Uh, but I might lose a creature here if I don't play this um, wisely. One guy? Okay. Uh, I will block this. Oh, this guy and this guy. Yes, I know. I know. The question is, yes, I know. Which one? Question is, um. I don't mind losing that guy, but I mind losing that guy. So let's uh, get you out of the way. Yeah. I kind of knew. I kind of knew. There's not a lot I could do about it, though. And I really need to start making those creature tokens. So let me get my rhinoceros down. And uh, the question is if he has another one. But um, there's <laughs> there's really nothing I can do about that. Uh, yeah. I figured that much. Are you going to swing in again? Because that's going to be the tell. No, you don't have anything now. Mm -mm -mm. I was dumb enough not to make... Okay, I'm fucking... God damn me. At least I have this guy down, which is going to be pretty close to amazing once I... Uh yeah. Well, once I start swinging in. But... Uh yes. I'm wondering what he has in his hand. He's not drawing the lands, and uh, it doesn't seem like he has much of a threat to me since he started. He's already... Yep, he has this guy. Okay. As long as he's on three lands, then I'm not that impressed with him. How much does he have on board? Um... Should I swing in, take out his side, more or less? Mm, I think I might. It might cost me the hero, though. He has one, three... That's six. Yeah, it might cost me the hero. I could sacrifice the Dauntless. Hold on. Dinner just arrived. Let me get back to the match. Okay, so I'm swinging in. That's uh, just how that is. Yeah. That's how that goes. Yes. Anything else? Do I have something in hand? Do I have tricks? Uh huh. Yes. No. Yes. That is all right with me. Okay. Let's get uh, this bad boy down. So suddenly my side is starting to look really strong. And he felt the same way. So that's uh, one match down. Uh, let's go for another one. Let's try this guy. 
So yeah, when, when you start getting everything down, like this is a prerequisite, like um, Collective might ironically, well, not ironically, but very fittingly, doesn't really work that well um, with singular creatures. You really need like enchantments and you need uh, creatures working together, uh, cross buffing, doing things for each other and so on. And it's when, when you have these, these synergetic effects, mm, this, this deck just works so well. Yep. Back playing another match of, uh, Collective Might or deck testing Collective Might in uh, Magic 2013. I am Multimeteor and uh, yeah, let's see if this guy uh, knows how to push a button or two. Just a single button will do it, I think. Hmm. Kokomoko Pox, I don't know. Como Pox. Uh, I think that is good enough for me. Yeah, let's do it. I can, uh, there's not a single card in hand that I can't lay, and even though I only have two, uh, cards here. Okay, this hand just become, became a lot better. So, question is, is he playing one of the monocolored, is he playing Exalted, or is he playing the Mira, or is he play? oh, he might be playing, I don't know, Peacekeepers? Yes. Yes, indeedy. Uh, I am all about tricking that guy, so... Uh, let's just say that I have nothing to offer. Nothing to lay. Mm, your turn. Your go. I hope you don't swing at me with that big 3-1. That big intimidating 3-1. Really? You have this fucking card. Well, I have answers for that. Uh, boom. I think we'll be doing this. Because a sprout will not cut it. Ah, that sucked, though. <laughs> oh, I was really hoping for him to... Uh, to, oh, oh, to to just swing at me and not have too many other tricks, but um, this card is is getting taken out. I can tell you that much. But uh, I think I'll wait and see if I can get in there and do some damage first. I wouldn't mind if he tried to waste a uh, waste a, a journey to nowhere on it. Or yeah, that's perfect. You are the greatest. Awesome. So you have a journey to nowhere with no one in it. Well, congratulations. That's all I can say. Um, I think I want this guy down first. And then I can uh, drop the sprout, start attack with the Notvine Paladins, uh, or, or lay down a Notvine Paladin. And put um, Fist of Ironwood on it. So actually with three lands, I'm starting to look pretty good. Okay, this guy. Oh, man. That's no good. Let me just get this. Let me get this little sapling. Just this little guy here. Okay. A token producer. Yeah. Do I want to lay that? I might want to lay that guy. No, I actually, I want to get this guy down. And I think next round is going to be Fist of Ironwood uh, because that will give me a lot more uh, power on board. Um, but, oh, I might regret this. I might regret this because he's in a strong position as well with uh, Crusader of Odric for once and, uh, or Odric and Geist Honored Monk. This is gonna suck. I'm assuming you might want to swing in with, yeah, with those. And that's fine, I guess. That is fine. What else do we have? Well, we have mana. And let's see. Let's uh, let's just do this for starters. 
because then we can start swinging in with this big bad boy. And then eventually, everything is going to be sweet. You can double block it if you want. I don't mind. Okay. Watch the damage, uh, damage effects. Um, so he has big creatures, but I'm not without my arsenal of, uh, of uh, tough guys as well. So, And I'm very soon I'm going to start producing a lot of tokens. Okay, so he has five fives now. And if he's swinging in with any of these two guys, I will kill them. Let me see. This does... Uh Vigilance. Okay, so that's a guy too. I, I want to kill this guy before I kill this guy. That's for sure. So yeah, you want to swing in with those 1-1s. One -ones. If you're really daring, you might want to swing in with those 5-5s. Five okay. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. Yeah. That is fine. That is fine. So I want to make my guy big. Maybe I want uh, this guy down first because he's pretty big as well. And it gives me a little bit of life. Uh, and it makes my guy big. Makes it a 7-7. Seven, seven. Want to do something about it, big boy? Nope. That's perfect. That is perfect. So I have a bunch of blockers now, uh, which I'm perfectly willing to sacrifice. Okay, that guy is going to suck. Okay. Actually, since I have trample, it's not that bad. Okay. So let me just uh, make myself a token. And I'm just wondering when I should start... Okay, here we go, baby. Ah, it's too early. I shouldn't have shown it to him. But uh, he can remove my, my creatures at any chance that he wants. Actually, I'm not too unhappy about not... Uh, or, or showing it to him early because uh, I want my... I want my not mine paladin uh, to... or paladin to get big. Yep, that's still six points of damage. Right. I'm in a fairly good position, though he... I can't do anything about his flyers right now. Okay, that sucked. That does suck quite a bit. Yeah? Okay. Let's see. Uh, I want to... Okay, so let's see. That's four and that's eight that I can't do anything about. Aside from that, that's... Four Eight that takes me down to ten, so I need to block both of these big guys. I think, yeah, or at least the little guy here. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. This guy and this guy. Think that's hey, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? Yeah. Well, that's fucking idiotic. Okay. Uh, well, this just happened. Okay. I'll play him again. I'll play him again. Oh, son of a bitch. Nah, it was pretty good play. He did well. Um, but uh, still sucked for me. Uh, again with this? Let's try to get a... Yeah, this is better. This is definitely better. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. 
Man, I want to get this match over with. I have dinner waiting for me. Yep. Ooh, really? That is awesome. And the Juniper Order Ranger, the Wild Leaf Leech, Leech, and the Scion of the Wild. Okay. I'm thinking he's playing the same. Uh, my problem is that I don't have anything to drop right now and I don't have enough mana unless I draw something. I have uh, like two turns to draw mana or lands. Give me lands, give me lands, give me lands. Give me some Armstrong. Okay. That <laughs> You're a genius guy. Okay, so that though that's the land. Uh, I can put down the Wilt Leaf Leash. Uh, I can put down the Parallel Life. So it all depends on what I'll be drawing the next few turns. I would like to draw another Forest, though. That would be awesome. I don't need any more than that. Like I, I can I can deal with the fact that I'm I don't have any more lands than five. As long as I draw one more Forest. Mm, but I would also like some token producers very quickly, please. 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 Please give me a token producer. Produce the token. I think I want this down in case I start drawing a, a token producer. And he's not getting in for a lot yet. Like, he's getting in for two. Um... That could change, though. Um, I think the problem with uh, dropping the Wild Leaf Leash is that he uh, he might have a handful of Oblivion Rings. Okay, it's not a bad choice. I gotta say that's not uh, that's not a misuse of that card because uh, Parallel Lives is a tough cookie, or it's a it's a bit of a bit of a pain in the neck to deal with there's no doubt about it hello let's get that hero of the blade hold, blade hold and next turn the parallel lives and then let's see if we can do a bit of damage and then I would like another mana please just a land just a forest just a forest, just a little bitty forest. Yeah, he sucks. He sucks so much. He's just a fucking asshole. Okay, so you attack with these two, and these two guys can um, mess me over, so... It's not gonna be a problem though, I think. I'm gonna attack with everything. Yeah. So this turn, I, I'll try to trick him because I think he wants to trade. Yay! I'm bad. I'm attacking, and you'll take away my hero. Right? Hmm. He's uh, thinking about it. Okay. So I guess I will be, I guess uh, if I drop the leash here, then uh, I'm going to be a little bit more intimidating next round. And then if I drop the parallel lives, and he, if he doesn't have any response for this, uh, or to this, and I drop the parallel lives, I should be in a pretty good position. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but I really want that land now, please. Please. Now, please. Give me land, give me land, give me land, give me land. Or else I can't drop the parallel lives. Uh, I gotta take out uh, Audric because he's going to be a major pain in the ass. Yes. Okay. Good. Good boy. Yes. Great. Okay, that's uh, almost the best thing in the world. Oh, okay, I th no, I shouldn't have done that. That's fine, that's fine. Shouldn't have done that. I'll just attack. Okay, hold on. 
Go get back here. Rock and roll. Okay. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you do. This is a tough spot for him, though, because I'm coming in with, uh, I'm swinging in with, let's see, 12. That's 19 points of damage. Uh, that should be GG. Minus 12. <laughs> You're still watching the damage effects. Um, thanks for watching. I've been Multimeteor, and this was Collective Might. Laters.